It's okay. I need to start this video by making a confession. I kinda like Gunslinger. Shut the fuck up. I know that at this point my channel is about never changing from Royal Guard, but gun shoot is a fun, refreshing and relatively self-contained way to deal with enemies that brings with it its own unique combo routes and setups for big finishers. Combined with Trickster, I'm sure these combos could get even longer, but let's not start giving Trickster any more credit than it deserves. Just like Swordmaster, Gunslinger's move list is pretty exhaustive, and half of it is garbage. It's by no means a good or efficient style, but understanding how to sprinkle some Gunslinger moves into your combos will overall improve your play. Starting with Ebony and Ivory, Gunslinger makes E and I better at what E and I has been doing this whole time, that being boring you to sleep. Equipping Ebony and Ivory while in Gunslinger will charge the weapons in the same way that holding the shoot button will. Shooting Ivory while in Gunslinger will increase its rate of fire, and make it finally start doing what it was allegedly supposed to be doing the whole time. You can now sprinkle in a little Ebony by pressing style, allowing you to shoot the two individually. With one targeting whoever is locked on and the other mostly just also shooting whoever you're targeting. Let's do a quick pop quiz. What do you think back forward style is going to do? A. Merge the guns together into one super gun and blast the enemies. B. Shoot a bullet only to shoot another one at it, ricocheting it back to the floor. C. Wrong. You just shoot the guns again, but now both of them at the same time. Three quarters of E and I's gunslinger mood list is solely dedicated to shooting the guns fast but different. So I'm more than happy to announce that pressing style while in the air turns Dante into the 45 caliber drill that pierces the heavens. Rainstorm is genuinely useful for maneuverability, and has been severely buffed to compensate for the hit inertia took. Ebony and Ivory are generic guns that are used practically exclusively to extend combos and control your height, so there's no surprise that they still do exactly that in Gunslinger mode. Rainstorm saves the two from being gutter deer and turns the twins into something at least a little bit exciting. C. Up next is the best boy and I will fight you if you disagree. The Coyote A is Dante's staple 8 inches of sawed off guns. It's the shining star in the sewage of shit that is the Gunslinger move list. After nearly falling asleep with E and I, switching to the Coyote is like chewing 5 gum. It's an instant rush of invigorating energy that makes you remember why Devil May Cry is actually fun. Firecracker is the Coyote's perfect form of rainstorm. What it lacks in practicality it makes up it. Stinger is a mobile fuck you straight to the enemy's cranium, administered with great prejudice. If you so decide to pussy out of the move, you can cancel it by rolling to the side and shouting buckshot profanity at a distance. You can string these dips and dives together infinitely to form your own at lib double barreled fuck you. Any of these moves will consume the charge you build by holding down the shoot button. Once you're done saucing on him, you can literally just turn around and dome him. Smoking sexy. Who cares if it's nearly impossible to combo without switching to another style? The coyote is pure, condensed fun that only gets better in Gunslinger. Moonwalking in is. <laughs> Dr. Faust is a unique gun that uses red orbs as ammunition. Getting hit while using Faust causes you to lose money, but using will give you more red orbs than you lose. You get a scarf that increases in length the more red orbs you have. That feature by itself makes this weapon S, but it gets better. Hitting enemies with your hat leaves a copy of it on them. This works for literally every mob and boss, and is key to using Faust effectively. While looking like smooth criminals, hit enemies will drop red orbs and will be pulled when executing half trick. Faust's fire rate is so fast you can float enemies almost forever. Doing so is not only efficient, but also encouraged since the longer you hold the button, the more orbs you're going to use and the more damage you're going to do. Man in the red covers Dante and orbiting red orbs that will float light enemies, draining money while active. This, coupled with Hat Trick's launcher leads to an easy setup for it. Meteors will take a shipment of orbs but also do a shipment of damage. It's enough to guarantee a kill on most enemies, especially if you get fast 4. You can also set out a hat turret that will follow you and shoot on your behalf like a certain someone's summon, just significantly less useful because you can't swap off the weapon without losing it. In case you haven't caught on, Dr. Faust fucking bangs. 
SS. It's also currently facing court charges. Ladies cool, right? Well, judging from the trailers we had before the game launched, I had the feeling that she might be playable post-game or something like that. Unfortunately, no, we just get your gun. Guns. Kalina Ann squared is the Kalina Ann but with more gun. So fuck the original, being dual wielded. You'd think that Dante would shoot both of them at the same time but no. He can only shoot one of them at a time unless he channels one tenth of his royal guard energy and Medium Dick Blast is a significantly less spicy version of Royal Release for Cowards. Its lengthy startup can actually be jump cancelled, but doing so is only for bitches. Lock-on will launch any enemy it hits while Hysteria is basically worthless without extensive setup. Holding shoot regardless of style is a nice and condensed fuck you that's difficult to combo into since, unlike Coyote and the Twins charge, you have to be in neutral in order to start charging it. By far the most useful move in the Rocket launcher. move list is jumping style. This attack hits both below and above, serving as a launcher, filler and maneuverability tool. It, coupled with Faust serve as the meat and potatoes of Gunslinger exclusive combos. Otherwise, Kalina Ant's practicality is lessened by its lengthy startup and moves that require very specific setups. B. Rocket. Overall, Gunslinger is much better than I initially expected. The expanded move list it offers is enough to add a little bit of extra style into your combos, even if most of it is garbage. I thought I told you to shut the fuck up. Fine. Gunslinger fucking sucks. Its entire move list consists of dumbed down press button to win attacks designed exclusively to cater to the legions of borderline catatonic HROs that struggle to find the mental capacity to slam their oversized foreheads onto the style button. I'd insult shit slinger players more, but it's bad form to make fun of the disabled. Someday, I'll toss all your presents